me. We're just over a month away from the World Cup in Qatar, and these are... Oh yeah, Chad, I'm going to the World Cup, y'all! Eight rules and regulations that you'll have to abide by to be safe and sound in Qatar. All Firstly, right. no drinking alcohol. I don't drink, so I'm straight. I'm assuming this is going to be a big challenge for football fans globally, but you'll have to abide by it and watch these games sober. Rule number two, no homosexuality. Clearly this is uh, different than the Western world, and I think this is going to be quite challenging. No! Burn, but rule number two. Rule number three, we've got, it looks like a woman with high heels on, no immodesty. What? So I'm assuming that women need to be covered up and... Again, very different than the West. Rule number four, no profanity. What? For this reason, I will not be going to the World Cup. Watch your language, folks. Five, I think a fair rule. You know, respect the worship areas and the religion of the area. You know, pretty straightforward, so don't disrespect the religion of people in Qatar. Rule number six, no loud music. Sorry, I'll try to get out of the way here. Uh, you can't no cuss? Loud music. Uh, this is going to be an issue to try to get hyped up. Pre-game for the teams, and uh, even a, well, I guess there's going to be no pre-drinks, so no loud music. Thinking about downloading Tinder or Hinge while you're there, forget about it. No dating is rule number seven. What the? F Not no, sure, this got to be fake. You know what this looks like, or what this these rules, how are these are going to be governed? But there's just no dating. Is this real? Top of guitar. And finally, for all you gym influencers, no taking pictures while at the gym is rule number eight. Yo, bro, this has this got to be fake, bro. There's no way. You can't cuss at a football match.